The brief at Castle Towers was to really reinstate Castle Towers as a preeminent retail facility in Australia. It was very aspirational in the brief and still is. Castle Towers has really not had a development occur over the last 15 or more years. They are looking to retrieve that position in the marketplace. The collaboration between QIC, GRE and Booking contributed to a positive project outcome, mainly due to our ability to strategize quite frequently and identify potential opportunities. For example, the Castle Hill Metro Station opening and the opportunity to create a seamless connection underground to the centre was identified quite early on in the master planning process. Collaborating with Lucchetti Carell and the wider project team was a great experience in that they brought some unique ideas to the table. Their concept for the level one retail and dining precinct extended beyond the traditional food court model. Stage one development is landlocked. It's got David Jones Tennessee sitting above it. It's retail on both sides and a car park on the other side and then the rail link on the fourth side. I suppose it's a difficult environment to deal with because we're converting a car park into a retail shopping mall. So it's challenging. It being underground, obviously no access to natural light, but equally a limited headroom. That was where we really had to create something that was colourful, exciting in terms of the nature of the interior of the space. The solution came in the way of an open grid ceiling system comprising of a series of suspended blades. Um, the blades themselves act as a screening device to the structure and services beyond and give a sense of a greater volume. And actually use that colour palette and materiality into the design to make it more like a forest environment rather than a cave or a car park that we had previously. To have the team all based in the one location, all working cooperatively and committed together is tremendously efficient. The other aspect to it is really an understanding and living in the region and the location. We're always looking to what the future of retail might be with our developments. We're looking five, ten years in the future and what that could occur. At the end of the day, we're designing with the end user in mind. If you're lucky enough to see a project through to completion and then get to observe how people experience and interact and enjoy the space, it's a very satisfying feeling.